Welcome. In operations management, we use many types of time. Let's talk about tack time and how it relates to cycle time. What do we mean by tack time? Tack time is the pace of customer demand and thus denotes the pace at which a process must operate to stay in sync with the demand. Let's look at a simple example, a make to order sandwich shop in continuous operation. With continuous operation, tact is the time between successive customer demands. For example, say the customer demand rate or the demand velocity is 20 sandwiches per hour. Then the demand pace, which is the time between successive customer demands or tag time is three minutes. This pace dictates how we organize our process because for the process to remain synchronized with demand, the time between successive prepared sandwiches must be three minutes. Tag time derives from the German word Tagzeit, which denotes the time between successive beats, like on a metronome. So tag time is the pace, just like runners describe their velocity as an eight minute mile or five minute kilometer, which is the reciprocal of 12 kilometers per hour or seven and a half miles per hour. Tact derives from the Latin word tactus, which means touch. While etymologically tack time, cycle time, touch time, and value added time are related, in operations these words unfortunately can have different meanings, so we must be careful. To see that distinction, assume that the sandwich shop has one operator. To be able to stay synchronized with the demand, that operator must be able to complete all the tasks involved with one sandwich in three minutes. Let's look at the tasks of such operator. The total processing time is 120 seconds. So the operator has to work two minutes out of the three minute tag time and would be utilized 66%. Of course, if the demand changes, tag time changes. And as long as the fluctuations are within 33%, the sandwich shop can manage. So let's show this graphically. Customer demands arrive every three minutes, which is the tag time. Each customer demand for a sandwich requires two minutes of value added processing time. This is where we have to be careful. If and only if all the work is performed by one processing resource, an operator or a machine, then the resource can at best process one sandwich each two minutes. I prefer to call this the unit workload of the operator. Yet it is customary in industry to refer to this two minutes as the cycle time. At Kellogg, we never use the word cycle time because it may have different meanings at different companies. In contrast, tag time and unit workload have only one meaning everywhere. So use those terms. Given that the cycle time is below the tag time, the sandwich shop has sufficient capacity to keep up with demand. In fact, the operator will idle one minute during every three minute tag time. But what happens when demand doubles? Now the tag time halves from three minutes to 90 seconds. Recall, faster running means shorter minutes per mile. Notice that the total processing time per sandwich is two minutes, so the shop can't keep up with one operator. Unless we reduce sandwich choice by removing tasks, we need two operators if we want to stick with our full custom made to order strategy. In this case, we can perfectly split the work and give operator one the first station on the sandwich line with a unit load or cycle time of 60 seconds. The second operator executes the remaining tasks with equal unit load. Clearly, this new process can process one sandwich each minute which is sufficient capacity to keep up with the demand tag time of 90 seconds per sandwich. Recall that our sandwich shop was a simple operation that operated continuously whenever customers are present. But what if we can inventorize our product and work a standard single shift, say of five days per week? For production to be in sync with demand, we must now adjust the tag time so that the weekly supply equals the weekly demand. Here's a simple example of how to do that. Say each nine to five shift includes a one hour lunch break, two 15 minute coffee breaks, 
one hour setup in the morning and a cleanup in the evening, and on average half an hour of unscheduled downtime. Then the net available work time per week is 30 hours or 1800 minutes. So if the demand rate is 900 units per week, the production tack time per unit is two minutes. Remember, tack time is our means to achieve the goal of synchronizing supply with demand over the week. Here's a picture I took yesterday during my walk around the historic town of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll get a notification anytime I publish new content like this. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again.